Let me ask you a question. Who doesn't love a good kids on bikes movie? I'm talking you get a bunch of kids, usually takes place in the 80s, throw them on a bunch of bikes, give them a big adventure. Who doesn't love that, dude? It's nostalgic. It takes us back to the childhood we all wish we had. People don't do that anymore. They just sit on their phones playing Brawl Stars, okay? Stupid stuff like that, watching Mr. Beast videos. They don't go outside. So let's reminisce, okay? Let's talk about the five best kids on bikes groups of film. In fifth place, I have Stand By Me. This one, a little bit of a technicality because they're not really on bikes that much, but I'm still going to count it because of what they represent. They still have the spirit of some kids on bikes. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this group. Just because they're five doesn't mean they're bad, doesn't mean I don't like them by any means. It's a tremendous group. The performances are all great, and the kids themselves, they're fun. We have some good laughs with them, some good moments, but also some serious moments, some moments of like brotherhood, you know, where you're like, dude, I wanna be with these guys. Not when Corey Feldman jumps in front of the train, he tries to kill himself, not that, we don't talk about that. I'm talking about the boy Chris. What a homie, dude, what an OG. Everyone needs a friend like this. In fourth place, this one might be a little bit shocking. People might think this one, I, I, it's not a movie, it's a TV show. People might think this one's gonna be a lot higher. Night number one, number two, I'm going with the Stranger Things kids. Here's my thing with the Stranger Things kids. Really, if we're talking about the core prime of the kids on bikes, we're talking season one. We're not talking Max, we're not talking Will, because Will's, he's there for an episode, and then he dips, he's with the Demogorgon, doing all that stuff, <laughs> being possessed or whatever. It's really just Mike, Lucas, Dustin, and Eleven. A great group, a phenomenal group. Season one of Stranger Things is my favorite. Um, give me a second, I have an Eleven Funko Pop, so let me, let me put Eleven here for the rest of the video. Right next to Big Daddy. Absolutely love them, but as people come back, as Will gets better, as we bring in Max, you know, all these different people, Eddie, sure, an honorary kid on bike. The group disbands, the group splits up. That's my problem with it. And also, if we're going off of numbers, they are a little small compared to the other ones, so I'm putting them at four. Still love them. In third place, I have the Sandlot group. The Sandlot group has some really high highs, and it has some lower-ish members. There are some characters who are like, sure, they're all right, but when we talk about the icons, we're talking Squints, we're talking Babe, we're talking Benny the Jet, we're talking all those guys, even some other players like Yeah Yeah. Dude, what a great group, so much fun. Talk about like the ideal summer of fun, and also, they have the lowest stakes of all these groups, right? All they're really trying to do is just hang out, have some fun, get the baseball back. Not a big deal compared to the Stranger Things kids, right? They're like the only group that doesn't run into this life threatening scenario. The Beast is a stud. He's a beast. Don't get me wrong. When they have the least stakes, they can have the most fun. I think that gets them a lot higher on this list. In second place, I have the group from IT. The group that has probably the biggest threat but damn dude, it's still a memorable group. Every member has their time to shine. Even someone like Mike, who isn't as focused on in the first film, right? He gets his moments in the second film. And I guess I can't really count the second film because they're not kids anymore, but still, I'm talking about Eddie. I'm talking about Beverly. I'm talking about Bill and Richie and Ben, all these awesome characters. Stanley, he's got some funny lines. The performances are great. I'm really talking about the 2017 one. The kids are good in the first film, the original one too, but 2017 is where it's at. So many classic scenes, so many funny moments. All these performances are amazing. And I'm sure that if you put this group outside of the IT scenario in a more light and friendly, low stakes scenario like the Sandlot Boys, dude, what a blast, how much fun. Look at the horrible world they're in, right? Bill's brother died, all of them are gonna die. They're all in this horrifying situation and they're still fun. Talk about when the stakes are over. What a great group. In first place though, I'm a little biased. It's one of my favorite films of all time. I've got a poster back there. I'm talking about the Goonies. So many great characters in this film of all the kids. I'm talking about Chunk, I'm talking about Data, all those boys, they're so iconic, so legendary. Every kid in this group gets some good laughs. Yes, they're also joined by some teens, you know, your Josh Brolins, things like that, but these kids are an absolute riot, and dude, they got heart too, they got spirit. They're great friends, and that's what you want. Again, not really on bikes that much, but I'm more focused on what they represent. And as far as I'm concerned, they represent that kids on bike vibe extremely well. Absolutely love this movie. And who doesn't want to just go find a pirate ship with your friends? That's like the dream. I love them. They're hilarious. They're all unique. They're all different. 
they're funny, they're smart, they're adventurous, they have a great time. That's my list, those are my top five. Let me know what group of kids on bikes is your favorite. I make a new video every day, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs. Subscribe, I'd appreciate it.